Hey, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining us again for the second session of uh, Music of the Spheres is Chaos, which is DCC 100. Um, you know, the Kickstarter is currently going on right now. If you're watching, it's probably because you backed. Um, so thank you very much for making our ambitious adventure like a, a physical re reality. That's really cool. Um, I'm going to introduce the folks we have playing tonight, and then we'll just uh, we'll, we'll dive right in. Um, you all know Tim the man to Shane. Um, Tim, who are you playing tonight? Uh, I am playing Drake. And Drake is the warrior that Brendan played last week, so I hope I do him justice or get him killed. One or the other. <laughs> <laughs> and, Two options. Uh, yeah, maybe Alex, both. Who are you playing? Yeah, I'm playing uh, Thorin Sorrel, the summoner. Remember, that's my name, Thorin. Uh, Still so here as a TH. <laughs> <laughs> you're, now you're just listening to like, tease me. Yeah, and then yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, I also roll lots of critical failures. So uh, hopefully it's out of my system. Nice. And uh, Miss Rachel, who are you playing tonight? I'm playing Solaire. Uh, and she is particularly smug this morning uh, because she had a real great day yesterday in this, in this adventure. And last but certainly never least, uh, Matt, who are you playing? We've got Edgar Rope Climber, who is a, uh, a a thief by trade, but not so much actually using the thief skills. Things just sort of like work out in a thiefy way for him, and uh, has uh, previously had all the skin stripped off of his body when he fell into the uh, the uh, void muck, um, <laughs> and uh, was helpfully saved by uh, Solaire, the, the awesome. smug. Oh, that's actually, that's really Solaire important. The smug. Wait, yeah, no, yeah, but Solaire the Smug, how did you save him? What were the repercussions of you invoking your patron? Yeah, so, I mean, Leshy did save him in a in a flower, flurry of leaves. It was very dramatic. Uh, and I have lost my soul, right, eventually. Well, yeah, yeah. Leshy, um, yeah, now considers you uh, to be his, it's her bride um, for your soul to be, you know, collected at, at a later point in time. I mean, right, so, that's yeah, really so. just a benefit. Like, I don't, I don't see the downside to this. <laughs> I'm sure we could figure it out. Um, okay, so, uh, so last time we we're playing, you know, our, our characters, you know, they they entered, you know, this this vast alembic which has been carved out of the heart of of, of Sagamatha, you know, the, the the largest mountain in the known world. Um, and and remember, down below, off the sides to either side of these these stairs down here, you can see three elemental channels. You know, one of fire, one of earth, one of water, all pouring, cascading down into the into the base of the Olympic, where this perfectly just thin thread of of emerald light was 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 mixing and frothing down there. Um, and 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 slowly like like building in consistency, almost um, being distilled or 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 refined. Um, our heroes like darted off to the left after some confusion. They they dashed into what they've come to believe is the elemental sphere of fire, and um, and there they've they've walked into this this area right here, which where will is where we'll resume. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. All right, you're in a suit black laboratory that is a maze of scarred wooden tables with manacles, shackles, chains, hanging cages, and racks of bladed instruments. At least one of the tables is still occupied. So in, in this laboratory, you can see a flayed body, you know, it's, it's chest kind of propped open, uh, you know, the, the rib cage broken and splayed out. This flayed body pinned to the tabletop with scalpels and cleavers and, and green and two green flasks that are roiling with this barrel lambent light. And so there's this, this, this body laid out on this laboratory table um, and, and two would appear to be clear glass flasks pressed into its chest. The body seems to twitch and writhe in the dim glow. And again, there are, so there are three summoning circles that are drawn into the center of this room. Each of the circles which are circumscribed by sputtering violet candles. Two of the three circles are occupied but the third circle, um, its candles have been toppled and extinguished. The third circle stands empty. So in, in, in the first circle, um, there's, a, there's a comely woman with, with bat wings and horns and, and, a, and a devil's tail pleading at, with you to, to extinguish the candles and release her. And then opposite her, 
um, in the other occupied summoning circle, there's this 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 squat, pot-bellied imp. You know, he's he's sitting there with his arms folded, just you know, um, you know, berating you as 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 you explore the laboratory. You know, like hurling imprecations and insults. Um, and so that's where you guys find yourselves. What do you all want to do? How uh, how how long has this body been here? I mean, is it? That's a great question. All right, so um, Elf, are you going to walk over and inspect the body? Still I, edible. Um, mm. uh, I'll go with her. Okay. All right. So, Wizard and Elf, you 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 slowly you know pick your way through the laboratory you know to, towards the body, and to answer your question, so you know the the flesh is covered in cobwebs and dust. But wherever it's been broken open, wherever there's 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 blood or bone exposed, you can see that the, the blood is fresh. It actually hasn't even coagulated. It hasn't. It has. There's no scabbing. And so while the body itself has appears for all intents and purposes to have been here for a long time, cobwebs on it, a thick coat of dust. That wound is still fresh, and you can see the, you know the, the the body twitching and 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 shaking slightly on the table. Um, wizard elf, what do I need to know? Um, I find this definitely gross. Um, and I'm pretty upset about it. I mean, because it just doesn't seem, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just not right. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bodies mm -hmm. should be either right. old and dusty or fresh and full of blood, not both. It's not a both and situation. <laughs> Soren, is there anything I need to know, my friend? Sure. So um, it's time to break out my um, sampling kit um, and take out my uh, long handled spoon so as to sample maybe the uh, uh, yeah the blood, uh, get some in like a little petri dish and so forth, and examine it a little bit closer, see if it's um, uh, anything of interest, uh, and also uh, just a cursory examination. What is this creature on the table? So two things. Okay. The creature on the table is the body. Is is the body that's been yes. splayed open with the? Oh, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's a human. It's a it's an aged, oh, right. um, you know, an aged old man. You know, he's probably in his eighties with a long white beard that's now flowing mm -hmm. down to the ground. Um, but before you manage to scoop any, uh, catch any blood or scoop any blood out, um, it's going to be really mm -hmm. important what what Drake and Robeski are up to. So. Drake, I'm staying by the door. I don't really uh, feel all that comfortable with uh, the green green goo potentially coming back here, or okay. with the uh, these these folks that are inside the circles. So I've got my uh, crossbow out and I'm keeping a little bit of distance from from folk. Thank you, Ropsky and Drake. What do I need to know? So is there a way to get kind of in the center of the room without stepping through? these circles or Absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah 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 so they're they're performing exercises on, on these whatever these semi circles were so you can actually position yourself in the very center with the three circles out around you if you'd like mm. right yeah, and i'm gonna look at and i'm an ostler by trade i don't know how well i would be but just if there's any obvious signs of uh, of movement is it like the floor dusty or they're you know is it clean enough that i can't see tracks mm. or any sort or Ostler, roll a 1d20 below your luck for me, my friend. I got a six and my luck is a 13, so yes. Nice, okay. So Ostler, you can see from that one um, summoning circle that has been extinguished, um, you can see horned, or not horned, but like- um, The like, cloven, uh, yeah. Yeah, cloven, thank you, cloven hooves that, that made their way out of there and exited they, you can see them tracking through the dust. They exited the room um, opposite where you guys entered. So I'll, I'll point that out to my companions. Okay. This one here, he has gone through that doorway. Mm. All right, wizard, describe to me how you're how you're collecting your samples. Sure. So I've got my uh, long-handed spoon out. So it gives me about an 18-inch reach, and um, right, right. You know, when you have to sample. Um, uh, just the various things to bring back to uh, the college for further study. Uh, some of them are kind of toxic, as the uh, as Edgar has found out. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I've got a glass petri dish in one hand, and I've got the long-handled spoon. I'm like, all right, stand aside, Elf. I've got this. 
And they get, they get like right into the cavity to get kind of good samples. Like they get in there. Like, you uh, you you scoop into the cavity, and sure enough, you know the the whole body twitches in pain and agony, and you know like it's, it's he's only able to inflate his lungs just a little bit, but he's like ah, no, and he doesn't even he can't even form that much of a syllable. And uh, but elf um, wizard, you see those two green lambent um, flasks. They they become they come dislodged, and they start to fall towards the ground. Um, I'm going to ask everybody to uh, to make an initiative check for me. Do we're going to try to uh, you if you want to take any actions before the uh, the, the glass flasks strike the ground. I got an eleven. Okay, my friends are on eleven. Uh, Soren, where are you at? Seventeen. Seventeen. Ropey. A whole eight. Woohoo! Drake. Fourteen. 14. Okay. Soren, you, uh, you, you see them falling, but your hands are full. What do you want to do? Uh, uh, okay. I see what the screen stuff does. I am going to um, uh, jump back behind the elf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, excellent. Oh All right, sword. You uh, you duck back behind the elf. Um, Drake, you're at you're at the you're, at, you're at essentially what serves as the as the center of the room. You see, you know, the wizard dart behind the elf. You uh, you're too far away from the flasks to make an attempt to catch them. But what do you want to do? Um, I am just going. Uh, I, I'm probably just going to stand out like this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because my thought was to try and dive to catch it, but if I'm that far away, like I'm just probably. Tell you what, if you if give me a give me a mighty deed that's uh, that's that's three or higher, and you can hurl yourself Ooh, across right. the room. So just a deed die for now, just to see if I even. Yes, but but um, you notice something, so right. you start to move, and you should be too far away, right? But but um, but um, perhaps 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 is, is gravity less here are you stronger it's like you're 10 years younger you you hurl yourself across there and so improve your deed die uh, by one mm. all right so i'll go to d7 oh. all right i got a seven Okay. All right. You hurl yourself over there. You're beneath the flask. The flasks are falling. Um, give me two ref saves. Okay. All right. First one is a 19. You catch one. Your other hand's free. The other one's falling on the far side of the table. The second one's an 11. No! It shatters and explodes like a thousand lambent green emerald cobwebs instantly whoosh, fill the room. All right, everyone, give me a, give me a ref save. Uh, we'll just start at the top of the count. Soren. Okay. Hey, do I get a bonus for standing behind the elf? Yes, you do, actually. Yes. That's, uh, <laughs> grab, grab, a, grab a D24 and uh, roll that instead of a D20 for your ref save. Well, that doesn't do any better. <laughs> <laughs> First, the D24. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got for me, Alex? So, I'm, I'm crouching and, uh, and looking in between. The, I, I get down really low in between the space between her legs. I rolled a four. So <laughs> you, you're, you're catching like green goo in the face. Um, okay, Soren, you're struck by multiple strands. Uh, my friend Drake, uh, give me what's your F save? 21. Okay, you're 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 rolling, you're dodging again. You know, are you are you superhuman? This this is like when you were in the prime of your adventure, and you know, before that dragon struck you down, um, you're not you're not hit by any of the uh, any of the the strands. Um, oh, the strands spare me. Elf. Um, so one d twenty plus any uh, reflex modifier. Yeah. So uh, that would be a three. Oh, also no good. Well, you were being shoved from behind in fairness. I know. The <laughs> Definitely the wizard's fault. <laughs> the two of you are, 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 are stuck together. Uh, uh, and last but not gross. least, Ropey. <laughs> so, Just give a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe similar, since I was standing by the door, not yeah. wanting to get too close. Ooh, can yeah, I no, like fair. back up um, a little yeah, bit? Or? Yeah, give me, give me uh, actually by, by, the, by the door, what it will do. So two things. So yeah, so so roll a roll a D24. Um, but we're also going to lower the, the ref save that you're trying to hit at. Okay. Uh, that would be a 21. Okay. Yes. And, and Elf, you just kind of, you, you roll out of the doorway, you, you know, all these green strands come flashing everywhere. Um, and, and none of them managed to connect to you. However, 
um, Soren and uh, my friend the elf, you guys are not as lucky. You can see the uh, the strands start to pull at your wrists and 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 flay at your you know just pull at your flesh. Um, Soren, you're at the top of the count, but you can feel that by the the end of this round, this thing is going to be like literally tearing you apart limb from limb. You can already start to feel your your joints shift. What do you want to do, wizard? All right. Well, let's see here. So, uh, uh, so there's like these strands coming from uh, where they uh, hit on the ground, and they're just like pulling in all sorts of directions. Is that, is that what's going on? Yeah, it's on? almost as if um, these these emerald like emerald green spiderwebs just like it, like coughed up and and you know um, and in, to in, inhabit this entire room, like uh, like the cells within a lung or something. They're just like mm -hmm. it, it it filled up the space. You you can you know this really quickly though. You know where where the strands failed to you know grab your friends. And so the the thief and the mm -hmm. warrior, the strands are already mm -hmm. receding and withering and dying. It's only where they managed to seize you and the elf that they've grown strong. Mm -hmm. oh. You hear the uh, you hear the imp shouting, "Free me, free me!" And I can I, I can help you. I can aid you, wizard. Um, meanwhile, the, you know the, uh, the 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 succubus is like, "Don't believe him. He's a lied imp." What do you what do you want to do, wizard? Well, I certainly don't have enough strength to break through these strands. Uh, uh, I'm tempted by the imp, and uh, heck yeah, I'm uh, my pants are. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, like I'm totally scared. My pants are like um, not very good right now. Uh, so uh, I run over to where the imp is. And, uh, <laughs> well, you're not you're not running. Like, you're like you're crawling. Maybe you manage, maybe you manage okay. to like kick at the uh, one of the candles. You're being like held in place by all these strands. But yeah, if you want to, you you totally have the freedom to uh, to uh, free the imp by kicking over one of the candles. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you 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 kick the candle over instantly. All you know the 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 seven flames collapse. The seven violet flames just just vanish, and the imp is free. Um, and and just for an instant, you can feel that the uh, the the imp and whatever deviltry he possesses is is granting you the the opportunity, both the opportunity and a bonus to cast a spell. Um, you know, so a, a, a spell of your choice at, at at plus five to the spell check. All right. Let's do, uh, uh, I guess, Scorching Ray on the uh, webs. Excellent. Fire fixes many things. <laughs> All right, so I rolled a uh, 16 plus, uh, you said what type of bonus did I get? Uh, plus five from the, uh, from the end. But don't All forget right. you also have your, so you have your caster level and your intelligence too. Yep, yep. So it's gonna be a 27. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy. He, he right. emulates the party. You know, the entire room yeah. goes up. And <laughs> yeah. nuclear flame. All right. And I send forth a fanning wave of flames uh, shaped like a cone centered on me and expanding to width of 40 feet as, it's, uh, uh, as farthest end up to 80 feet away. So all targets within the cone. So I'm not going to try and hit my friend. Okay. Um, take... It's going to be a D12. Okay. Unfortunately, that wasn't too high. Um, take five points of fire damage. Did you and... add uh, cast your caster level? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Probably then, uh, target to... Sorry. No, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to shape it, shape it away from you. You oh, okay. just get these strands. Hopefully, I don't hit anybody. Um, however, if I do or anything I hit needs to make a DC 15 reflex save, uh, DC 15 reflex save or catch fire, and then they Excellent. start taking additional damage. Okay. Yes. Um, and, and sure enough, you know the, the the webs aren't dodging or trying to evade you at all whatsoever, and and some of them start to catch fire. Um, you you are freed, wizard. Give me one d6 damage. All right. Five. Five. Okay. Sweet. All right, um, but Elf, unfortunately, well, actually, sorry, okay, that was that was Soren. Um, Drake, you're you're underneath the table. You you caught one of the the, the things, one of the the uh, flasks. The other exploded. What do you want to do, my friend? You see, the I Elf is being pulled to bits. Yeah, I want to set down the flask. Okay. Get up and try and use my muddy deed to cleave as many of the strands holding the Elf as possible. Awesome. Um, D 
do so. Give me, give me um, an attack roll. We're only worried if you manage to roll a one on that d20, and then you're going to hit my friend the elf. No, I rolled a 15 and a four on the deed. Nice. Okay. Um, elf, you know, the, 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 the blade comes whipping towards you. You hear the you're slicing, you know, really close to your head. And the uh, um, elf roll a 1d20 below your luck. Right. Oof. Nope. I rolled a 20. Okay. All right, so half of you has been has been cut free by your friend, but half of you is still being held, Elf. There, he, he, the, he wasn't in danger of hitting you, but you know, but you're not completely freed yet. Um, which uh, brings us to the Elf. What do you want to do with your action, man? Okay, so um, I'm gonna cast enlarge on myself, hoping that mm. like when the Hulk, you know, gets larger, all of his clothes bust yeah. off of him. I'm hoping the same thing. You have happens. purple pants too, for some reason. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's awesome. Give me a spell check. Off. Oh my gosh. I got a one. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, my oh, my <laughs> oh, I've seen this go wrong really bad before. Let's see if she shrinks all of us. That'd be awesome. That would be pretty sweet. All right. Um, Elf, give me a uh, 1d6 modified by your luck, man. Okay. I got a four. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So just a misfire. Okay. So give me give me another one d four. Okay. Uh, that's a three. That's a three. So um, you are diminished instead of enlarged. You drop in size by twenty five percent. Your your um, you take a negative one penalty to your strength. So the elf shrinks from, you know, um, from, a, from a smaller creature already to now you're about halfling size, right? Or, or, or like a gnome as, 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 as you're shrinking down. Um, but you're also pulling away from the webs as, as your mass is actually smaller. Give me, give me another luck check if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Uh, 10, but my luck is eight. Oh, no good. I'm sorry, Elf. So, all right, so the, the, the strands are still attached to you. You're shrinking down. The spell has gone horribly awry. And then the, uh, and the strands start to pull at you, Damn my it. friend, for... Elf. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're rolling a new character. Elf for 14 <laughs> points of damage. I'm all right. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> 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 yeah all okay. right all right okay yes and so you, you're shrinking down you, you know your your joints are almost you know pulled out of the sockets but miraculously you're still alive ropey you see all this going down what do you want to do um I've, I've already taken like three quarters of a step to just fully run away because i'm not feeling this with uh, my reduced personality and pr recently flayed skin um but then i stop <laughs> because they're my friends i turn back um I guess I was technically outside the room for a moment there. When I yeah. look back in, I assess, I see that the imp is free. It imp seems is free like. And, and helping. He's actually like, 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 like lifting the, uh, the, the, the wizard up, you know, the wizard is perhaps leaning on the imp. The imp is like offering him some aid. Okay. So the, um, how far am I from them? I had my crossbow out, which is not going to do much good against webs. Can I drop my crossbow, uh, pull my short sword as I tumble into the thing and try to cut the uh, of course you can <laughs> remaining uh, uh, things off my my savior from from yesterday? Oh, that's right, she did save you. Yeah, though. yeah. All right, so yeah, you you cast the crossbow aside. You 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 draw your short sword and tumble in. Um, and, and immediately, you know, you realize in the, the, with these webs everywhere, even as the strands are receding, this still is incredibly dangerous. Um, give me, give me a, give me a ref save as you attempt to tumble closer to the elf in an effort to. Uh... All right, ref save is a twenty. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, never well, mind. I rolled a seventeen. All right. right. Well, you're you're you obviously know exactly what you're doing. Um, you're not going to be able to free her this round, but you're adjacent <laughs> to her now. Okay. As as the as the strands are receding. Check. Um, which brings us to the top of the count, my friend Soren. All right. Uh, Flair, hold very still. <laughs> and connect with, uh, marvelous magic missile to try and blast some of these off of her. Uh, luckily, I've got pinpoint aim as far as this goes. And let's see, I rolled a two. And so that's an eight. <laughs> so I've lost a spell. All right. 
<laughs> I feel like this is exactly what happened to William Burroughs. Anyway. Um... <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sadly, magic missile is lost. It fizzles. Perhaps it's the, the horrors of this place, or maybe you're just, uh, maybe the, the, I don't know what, yeah. Well, actually, no, Soren, why don't you tell me, why does this spell fail so miserably? Oh, uh, because um, Blair doesn't believe in my abilities enough. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I don't. <laughs> 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 All right, Drake, you're on. What do you want to do, my friend? Um, just to keep it a little bit um, different from last time, instead of shopping them, I'm going to try and scoop up the elf and with like a massive, you know, gauntleted hand, just try and snap, you know, the rest of the strands. Sweet. Um, give me give me an attack that hits and a deed die that's three or better. My deed's a six and I rolled a 19. Nice. Okay. Yes. All right. You know, you, you sweep your gauntleted hand, you know, along, you know, the elf and sure enough, you're like, you're shredding those, those strands. It's almost like they're spaghetti. Um, you know, you can you just, just breaking away as, as you, as you wipe them free of the elf. Um, the rest of the strands wither and die and the room is empty once more. Wait, the, there's, uh, a hey, no, uh, there's no a free imp that I'm looking at. like. Yeah. And the elf yeah. is, the imp is like, like, he's actually like hiding a little bit behind the wizard trying to pretend like he just doesn't exist. <laughs> um, and he's like, and, and, and you can hear him whispering to you. Uh, sorry. It's like, great job. You're, you are really incredible out there. I, <laughs> that just blew my mind, man. You, have you been doing this for a long time? You're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, we fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. So the, uh, the 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 imp is is cozying up to uh, to Soren. Uh, meanwhile, the the succubus who is who is still, you know, trapped. You know, the 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 in in in, in the summoning circle. You know, the the candles have not. They were not knocked over by the uh, by the exploding green cobwebs. She's she's just looking at the three of you, not the wizard, pleading pleading with you to let you know to free her. The imp is a liar. He's a deceiver. Please let me go, and I can I can find a way to lead us through this hellish dungeon. But please, just just release me, and whatever you do, you cannot trust the imp. Believe me. I mean, so far he seems to have done what he said he was gonna do. That's his trick. <laughs> <laughs> he does what he says he's gonna do. Bastard. <laughs> I'm just not sure that i believe you that he's that bad i'm not particularly happy the imp is out so <laughs> i'm not gonna let out a second thing yeah one's good enough what do you think drake the creature, the creature that was in this summoning circle what door did it go through are you asking the succubus or me i'm asking the imp Ooh. um he looks at you you know and, and it, with his with his you know black black orbs where his eyes should be and he looks at the, he looks to the succubus for just an instant just for an instant he looks back to her and then he points honestly where you know you know, where you've seen the tracks the arch devil went that way mm. um hey little buddy what's your name that's a great question uh i don't know alex <laughs> what do you want to call him <laughs> <laughs> Whatever crappy writer made this thing didn't did uh, what do you want to call him, Alex? He's yours name. All right. Uh, I guess. Uh, how tall is he? He's 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 like eighteen inches. Oh. All right. Eighteen inches. Yeah. All right. Um. How about Stumpy? Stumpy. Did you say Thumpy or Stumpy? Stumpy with an S. <laughs> Harley can't hear Alex's essence. So, <laughs> okay, all right. So, so Thorn and Thumpy. <laughs> Thorn and Stumpy. Stumpy. All right. All right. Yes. All right. Um, well, and, and but you know, but his real name is 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 Stumper Collis. You know, the the fifteenth. You know, minor Duke of the the seventeenth pit of hell. But all his friends call him Stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> all right legit what what is it what is your what is your will mighty wizard you know he, he crawls he crawls his, your, his way you know up 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 your shirt to kind of rest on your shoulder you just have one devil on your shoulder you definitely don't have an angel on the other side 
no, this is good. This is fine. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. <laughs> I try and convince myself. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, guys, like, obviously this guy, he's been around uh, around here for a while, right, Stumpy? Yes, uh, yeah, hundreds of years, my, my, my wizard friend. Until you came and freed me, you have you have you have you have liber- liberated me. But my 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 soul is still trapped. I can I can help you though, you know, wizard. Just tell me what you command, and we will. I can lead you there. Sure. Well, let's start off by uh, answering the questions of myself and my companions here. That's fair. We're probably going to need to get rid of the elf. <laughs> uh, rude. <laughs> hey, I just defended yeah. you. Why are you getting rid of me? I mean, I didn't really defend you, but like, I, I didn't throw you under the succubus. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Give yourself an extra point of luck, Rich. <laughs> that, was, that was sweet. Okay, sorry, but um, you, you guys wanted to you wanted to quiz the imp. What do you? Yeah. What do you want to ask? Um, yeah. So. Um... Yeah, what's yeah. going on here? Just a little question. Right. Yeah, what Where do you buy these candles that last for hundreds of years? <laughs> so, um, you know, it, it takes a little while to get him out of, it, it out of him, but he explains that this was a laboratory where um, the theophages, the god eaters, they took living creatures and tried to um, imbue them with raw chaos. That's what, um, you know, Drake caught from, from striking the ground. And actually, that brings up a good question. Drake, what are you going to do with that second flask, that glowing green flask i'll look to my companions and say i was just i should just leave this here but unless you think of a reason why we should carry it with us i wouldn't mm. recommend drinking it might, yeah, <laughs> yeah might be a good weapon i don't want it to fall into someone else's hands i feel yeah. like i feel like we're better off keeping it than letting any demon take it with them all right, Harley, I will either with like a, you know, cord or whatever, I'll cinch it to my belt or, you know, have it or, or if I have a, if I have a, a, a sack of some sort, I'll place oh, yeah, it in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> we, we had mentioned um, off camera last week, like whatever, whatever mundane gear okay. you, know, you, you, you definitely have. So yeah, you, you can cinch it to your belt, you can put it in your backpack if you want. Um, but it is this, this fragile glass flask you know, with roiling chaos inside of it. So if you, if you take a fall, if, uh, if you, you know, get, get a good hit from a giant or something, there's a good chance it could be crushed. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So Stumpy goes on, you know, he explains that um, the theophages were experimenting on living creatures. It's that chaos that had kept um, the one theophage alive for this long that the, his friend, the wizard tried to scoop the guts out of like a, like a pumpkin. And that, um, and that, that, the, that these devils were also summoned for that same purpose. They were going to and try to, uh, you know, see what, what, what effect raw chaos would have upon summoned creatures. Mm. How, did, how did this other devil get free? Yeah. He, yeah. No, that's uh, when the, he, so Stumpy explains that when, when the Theophages um, experiment proved to be a success, and you suspect he's talking about that Alembic, many of them fled. And when, as they were fleeing, one of them, Knocked over the candle to the uh, to the arch devil's um, hmm. summoning circle, permitting it to escape out of this room. Who do these folks look like? Because we we kind of came across like three druids earlier, didn't we? That uh... you came. So yeah, when you guys were first entering the Alembic, there was those desiccated corpses that were in like in the purple felted. Um, oh right, they were already the dead. High. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were dead. But um, but yes, the uh, you know Stumpy describes they're identical, and you, there's a lot of hatred. And and uh, and as as he's describing the theophages that match that description. Interesting. Well, I'd let them know they're dead. Um, I'm also quietly scanning the room for anything that looks like it might take one of these keys that I looted off those corpses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the recap is: you guys had found three keys, um, one on each of the uh, each of the corpses. There's nothing here that seems to match that. There's like. Uh, you know, there's a laboratory, so there's lots of, lots of cleavers and and decanters and 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 flasks and and that sort of thing, but nothing the nothing like no locked chests, no strong boxes, nothing like that. Okay. Um, there's there's um there's the the entrance that you guys came in, and then and then opposite you there's there's two 
uh, two corridors leading out of the laboratory, mm. one um, which had the tracks that the ostler had spotted. Hey, can we free this other one? Yeah. Is that where you guys want to go? Hold on, did we you just say free the um, other one, Drake? Should, oh, we, should, oh, oh, we, oh. should we leave the succubus? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm deaf, yeah. Trapped or... Yeah, that's we were cool. trapped for now. Perhaps and we were trapped for now, and perhaps she'll uh, agree to uh, uh, more penalizing contract terms uh, if we if we free her later on. Yeah, we do have a lawyer in the party. He's just not. Uh, oh, <laughs> he hasn't been called up yet. He's <laughs> yeah. He's carrying some chests or some yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. He has your torches yeah. and your bedrolls and all your all your yeah. rations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Rachel, you're going to say something hey, before you um, interrupt him. Oh no, no, I think that's a I think that's a wise idea. Um that we that we not let her go so, right now. But we will be back through. Right, right. Yeah, maybe later. Um she and the imp both mentioned something about their souls being trapped. Can you guys can uh, Stumpy, can you elaborate a little bit more on that, please? Yes, wizard. They they the, the, the theophage bastards learned my true name and they inscribed it on clay. They carved it into the, the face of this ruby and, and hid it here in their dungeon, trapping myself and that 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 suck of us, you know, along with the uh, with the with the archdevil. So um, you know, he, he goes on like that for quite a while, but you get the sense that their their soul gems are are in another sphere here in the dungeon, and that by acquiring them. The, the three demons, devils could could free themselves from this place. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, what you, what, okay. by the way, what's your name again? What'd you say that your real name was? <laughs> uh, crazy. You're a jerk. No. Um, <laughs> Stumpicarious. Uh, no, sorry, I'm, is that the real name that's inscribed in the gem that keeps him? Oh, 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 no, 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 a true no. name, right? It's, okay. it's 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 not pronounceable by uh, All right. anyone other than elves and wizards. That have, Harley, if you haven't actually named this guy for, yeah. for the adventure, but yeah. if it's, I'm not sure where you are in print, but I mean, you could always give it a throwback to Elzamon. <laughs> Harry would love you forever. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Elzamon the Damned. That's actually a great idea. We'll mm. see if we can get that in. <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, right. so um, first of all, does the story of uh, demons jive with uh, my uh, wizardly education? Um, does that sound right? Like there's like I've heard they don't have souls, but I've heard stories that they do. Which which seems like the more authentic case? Yeah, no, you you do get the sense that it's that its true name was captured and and bound here in the dungeon. You you think you think okay. um it the 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 imps that you've dealt with the past you know the minor devils mm -hmm. and, and demons that sort of thing as soon as they were freed from their their circles they either attacked you because they were more powerful than you or like you know escaped as quickly as they could the fact that this this mm -hmm. this imp is is sticking around and cozying up to you leads you to believe that it is telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Right. And gotcha. the, the arch devil okay. went this way, and I'll point to the corridor. You know, mm -hmm. so yep. maybe it knows where it should be headed, or you can mm -hmm. always go in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I leave the devil mm -hmm. tree up to you two. It's more of your speed. <laughs> sure, sure. Hey, um, so how long, uh, Stumpy? How long ago did the devil go off down that corridor? Oh, it's, uh, it's a long time ago, like hundreds of years. More, more than hundreds of years. Um, but how do devils tell time? You know, everything in this blasted place is just darkness and flames you know, for all eternity. I never thought I'd be trapped until you set me free, wizard. Oh, your old good old buddy old pal. He kind of rubs your head a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, See, so you can, um, and he says, you know, he, he points to um, actually the, uh, the, the, you know, where, where he had been trapped, that summoning circle. You can see there's thousands of tiny little like like hash marks and and he's like mm -hmm. one of those for every year that i was stuck in this damnable place and, and there's lots of hash marks mm -hmm. oh. hmm. so uh either the uh arch devil went down that corridor and found its soul and i guess fled the place uh by a like uh transubstantiation or something like that or uh he encountered his match and got trapped again um 
surely he would not still be lurking the corridors after these many, many years. If you say so, was he? <laughs> <laughs> I said we go deeper into this. Uh, yeah. This dungeon here. Agreed. We follow. Are you, are you guys following the, uh, the the tracks of the Arch Devil? Or are you going uh, down a different corridor? I, I, I I'm trying to remember what we're looking for here. Um, we found this uh, scroll that told us that there's all this like terrible stuff happening. That they're, um. Oh man, sorry. I'm looking at the. Now, if we if the, we had, uh, if we had played through the adventure at this point, you guys would be hell bent on closing these three elemental channels. Got it. We're because we're worried about like the dragon coming to undo the world yeah. or something, right? Yeah. Um, oh. Cast down the gods. Uh, Ooh. Oh. Something that we have. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah so there's something labeled devil here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Hmm. Passage beyond the sphere. Others oh, like to sneak champion. And then there's we a did strange mark. Matt. Whoop, there we go. Yeah. We got yeah. Drake. We got a champion. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. I mean, we came in and we went to the right. Do we think maybe it's that one? But we also have this other one here that didn't have it didn't have a fork. So maybe we're not in that one. No, I think we're we're in the this one's got the fire on it, right? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, right. good call. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm, that's I'm where I'm trying we're. not to know that I'm looking at the map as well, obviously, right? So, but, but good, right. good call on the uh, on the fire, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's head, let's head in. But what do we? If we find this devil, is this devil going to help us close the gates? Hey, Imp, what do you know about these uh, gates? Uh, the, each each is maintained by an, an elemental lord. You know, they're busy bodies. They're pretty proud of themselves because they work the elements, but. Uh... Yeah. So he, he explains that sure enough, so that the theophages, they, they uh, somehow they won the service of these, of these elemental lords, you know, fire, earth, water, and that, um, you know, in order to close those channels, you guys will need to either like negotiate or, or wring some sort of compromise or promise out of the elemental lords to, uh, mm. to seal off the channels. Okay, well, let's head in to find those channels, I suppose, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, all right. As as so, you guys are following the uh, the tracks of the of the devil. That's a true statement. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that's a true that. statement. Sounds good. And we're okay. leaving the succubus in the uh, prison circle. Okay. Yes. All right. The um, mm -hmm. and so and so to recap, so you know, you guys are. You start to proceed down that corridor again. You know the, the the walls of this place. They kind of spontaneously, you know, burst into just a little lick of flame. And that anytime you brush up against it, you can you can feel a sooty oil come off on your skin. The 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 air itself is just just choked with smoke. But as you guys are proceeding, that 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 smoke seems to grow stronger, oh. um, reducing your 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 sight to just you know to finally just a few steps and you know stinging your eyes and every time you inhale it, it, it burns your lungs um mm -hmm. on, I, on either side of you now you can see that there's uh, monastic cells that are carved into the stone walls they're a little more than like coffin sized holes laid with uh, woven straw mats and, and 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 blankets but they're but they're ancient they're, they're covered in those the same cobwebs and the dust um that the, the corpse was earlier um, I'm going to drop to the back and see if this cleric that's with us has any healing oh, that he can yeah, share with yeah. me. Okay. Um, yeah, the ancient, the ancient cleric, I can't remember what his name was, um, that you guys managed to, to, to trick into coming here. Um, yes, uh, he, he, he agrees to attempt to, uh, to heal um, some of you. What's the matter with you, Elf? Complaining again? Um, I mean, I was almost ripped to shreds by green goo. <laughs> um, he, he, he reaches forward, you know, and um, 
and it, this has happened a hundred times, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll cast, lay, attempt to cast Leia and hands on you. But then he also sees, you know, he's, he's coming towards you and he sees that, 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 that burn, you know, for that, that Leshy placed upon your hand and mm-hmm. withdraws. You are Leshy now. I dare, oh, I dare not. I dare not offend him, um, says Thomas the cleric. Thank you, Elena. You're amazing. Um, she pays more attention to this than I do. Uh, <laughs> And it's just all right. I, I I dare not offend him. Oh please, oh please, you know, mighty mighty Cthulhu, do not fail me now. And he casts his spell, his lay on hands. Ah! He wriggles backwards, and that and that 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 burn on your hand, you know, it, it kind of comes alive, and the it, it, it animates into a snake that then lashes out at the cleric, and and he and he, he holds his his hand. He says, "Lest she is lest she is displeased by my by my weakness, please lest she forgive me." Um, cleric, you're able to heal. Um, what's what's your alignment? Did you, are you are you more Behold, you know, do you um, find yourself aligned with, uh, you know, law, chaos, or none of the above? Uh, I'm more chaos, yes. Okay, all right. Um, take a, take a, a D4, uh, roll it, get high, and add that back to your hit points. All right, I got a two, which is okay. not amazing, but not bad. All right. Forgive me, Leshy. <laughs> you know, Thomas says again and again, I did not mean to, to f- forgive me. She is yours. I will touch her no more. Damn these, damn these eyes of mine. All right. What's everybody else up to? Um, I'm inspecting some of these corpses, but not touching them. Um, you know, uh, always sort of keeping an eye out for anything uh, shiny that might end up in my pocket. Okay. Excellent. Um, yeah. So you can. Um, oh, so you corpses. You mean like the actual like oh, the, the, the uh, yeah the catacombs you said right? Where, yeah, didn't you say yeah, that yeah. there were? Yeah. 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 Um, they're, well, they're they're not catacombs. They're actually like places where the theophages would have slept before. Oh. Um, so they're they're like when 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 they're described as coffins, that's mostly as a as a sleeping. Got area it. That they they would have crawled into. Um, so, uh, but yeah, no, you. Um, um, so yeah, if there's so, nobody in there, I'll I'll look a little closer. Yeah, I want to see right. if anybody's yeah. left something in their capsule hotel. All right. Well, <laughs> while Ropey's, you know, climbing into one of these alcoves, um, what's everybody else up to? So Drake, is the is the smoke over like completely overbearing, or is it just mildly like? It, it's, it's irritating. Your eyes are watering. Your lungs are stealing, but uh, are stinging. But it's not choking you at this point. No. Okay. Um, I guess what I would do is put a hand to the wall to just make sure that like I don't miss anything. If there's like another corridor, you know, I'm just gonna try and continue to walk a little bit further if I okay. can like into this area. Okay. And and sure enough, um, Drake, what you're gonna you're gonna discover your, while your friends are are exploring things behind you is that there is an opening to your left that you may have may have missed in in the in the in the soot and the smoke. Yeah. Um, so. Drake's proceeding cautiously forward. Um, Ropey's exploring, you know, one of the one of the uh, the beds that's tunneled into the wall here. Um, Soren, what are you up to, my friend? Mm, okay, so um, yeah, with the the uh, difficulties breathing and whatnot, uh, time to break out. Um, just like a, a face mask, basically, to start filtering out some of the smoke that's coming in. These toxins can really get to you. So I'm taking a few minutes to uh, set that up and uh, get some face coverings that are more appropriate to the situation. Oh, Maybe master, also, um, you, you do not need that, sir. No, no. When you're when you're arch lord of hell, this 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 will this you you know the the, the, the brimstone and the soot will appeal to you, my friend. Here, here breathe it. Inhale <laughs> deeply. Inhale deeply of the flames. <laughs> Someday. But in the meantime, I'm a uh, frail human. Oh, we can end that. We can change that as well if you like. Um, okay, yeah. So you get some rags. You you wet them. You tie them around your face. Elf, what are you up to, my friend? Um, yeah. So I've come back up to the rest of the people. Um, I'm sort of examining, uh, looking over uh, Ropey's shoulder to see what's. Uh, what he might be finding in there, because uh, okay. I'm also curious. Uh, yeah. Um, 
So, so both Ropey and Elf, give me, uh, give me one d twenty plus any uh, luck modifier. Ropey, okay. Yes, please. One d twenty plus luck. Yeah. And uh, natural nineteen, no modifier. Okay. I got it. Seven. Seven. All right. So, um, so Elf, you're you're convinced that these are just you know there's just the scorched straw mat here and the threadbare blankets. Um, you you turn away just as as something catches your eye, Ropey. There's a there's a, a, a cooked you know singed leather pouch hidden just underneath one of the, uh, the one of the struff, stuffed straw pillows. Um, you can you can see that there's there's just a glimmering hint of of some sort of uh, is it jewel something shining, um, offering the faintest hint of light coming out of that pouch. All right, I wipe some of the the tears from my eyes from the the smoke and such, and I try to squint a little bit, and I reach my hand out and I grab it. Okay, all right, yeah, and sure enough, you have you have this this scorched leather pouch um, with some sort of like glowing dust inside of it. It glows a, a faint blue that the luminosity is almost lost, you know, because the flames are going everywhere and the smoke and whatnot. Huh. Okay, I'll ask the wizard about this in a bit. Okay. Um, sure. All right, but you hear a call from Drake. He's found a he's found a, a branch in the corridor up ahead. All right, I yell, yeah, 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 coming, 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 coming. Did you find anything in those in those niches? Yeah, I found this bag of stuff. I don't know what it is. I need to wait till we get some <laughs> some better light here with all this this dang smoke. <laughs> yeah, you're you're you, the, you and Drake are kind of it's 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 this very incredibly fine glowing dust that's that's in the pouch you could you know you can pour just a little bit out into your hand um and and, and it's so fine that it's almost uh, it's silky where 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 you touch it, where it where it hmm. adheres to your skin i taste it <laughs> yeah um of course you do give me 1d30 <laughs> plus uh your caster level I mean, well, your level um uh, I rolled a four, and then I'm adding a four for my level, so eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, just just for the for the fairest fairest moment, you you um uh you know Ropey, you 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 foresee a future where you know no one calls you Ropey anymore. You're recognized as, as Edgar, the, <laughs> the 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 great, the master of rope. Um, <laughs> But then it just it like it's like a dream, and upon waking, you know that 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 vision that very briefly goes away. All right, all right, my confidence is up. Let's yeah. go forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Drake, are you comfortable with that? Going yes. forward? Yep. Okay, sweet. I um, I look back. I'm like, there's, there's nothing more in here to to explore. Is there? Have we? Have we? Um, so there, there was that, it, you know, it branch, you discovered that branch off to your left, but it does continue on ahead of you. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, so look, back. Would you like to turn now or keep continue going forward? Mm. How, is it less uh, smoky or anything in that direction? That's actually Same a great question. Um, it, what you can, it's, 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 it's not any less smoky, but you are able to hear like a thrumming or um, roar of fire coming to the left where where that that new corridor that, that drake discovered it seems to be maybe perhaps where the fire is, is originating from mm. Mm. i mean are we looking for for devil arrow well, um, i mean if we're here to close if we're here to close gates that could be a good place where maybe there's that that's the gate yeah yeah i, feel like I mean we we're dodge. inside like a weird sphery thing or well it seems like we have these spheres from what we've learned right that like maybe the fire is the center and that's what we need to close yeah i think we should I want to check it out inspect the three keys that i have too mm -hmm. are there any i think i asked you this before you said they looked very similar i could tell yeah. the teeth were different but was exactly. there any other sort of symbols that indicated fire earth anything like that um no no symbols per se but the keys are carved out of stone all of them are carved to the stone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Unless there's anything yeah. I need to know. All right. So with um, Drake leading us and then, you know, towards the back, yeah, there's um, the wizard with, with, with Stumpy on his shoulder, Stumpy still whispering to him. And occasionally you guys might hear the, the 
the wizard laugh. Wizard, what 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 secrets is Stumpy sharing with you? Oh, um, well, we're we're just talking about esoteric um, devil tree and um, infernal um, geography and stuff like that. You know, um, this is this is stuff that I learned in my classes at the university. But um, you know, with with a lot more detail. So uh, getting all these interesting details is just awesome. Although I do pause for a moment, uh, Edgar, why is your tongue all glittery? <laughs> <laughs> There's this awesome new candy. It's called Zots. <laughs> even even as uh, even as Edgar tries to come up with an explanation, you can see like this pale blue. Like his breath has a a glowing blue tinge as he exhales. All right. Hey, don't be. Um, you a succubus to use glitter? I am so deaf. I'm. I'm I apologize. Is it is the succubus oh. what? Succubus is used glitter. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. It's horrible. <laughs> you can't get that stuff out anywhere. <laughs> um, mm. No, but uh, man, I, I, I wish we could. On you. <laughs> um, Alex, if I was if I was able to uh, to pull you aside in the in the. At, at, at the gaming table um the uh the stumpy would have would have whispered to you that the that the dust here we go here we go here we go is it's the uh the, the powdered um skull of a theophage oh anyways i do show you the pouch i mean i'm not trying to because we were already talking about it but you were right. busy talking to talking to stumpy um, sure. Stumpy is very convinced that if 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 um, if you and only you, he says, you know, the elf can't do it. The the the, 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 the that, that would be thief is obviously, you know, he has no occult inclination, and 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 the the the, the, the big warrior guy. Well, we got to push him off a cliff as soon as we find a cliff. It's got to be a big cliff, though, really tall <laughs> cliff. But uh, yeah, get, we what we need you to do is get a hold of that pouch. You need to breathe that powder. Breathe, breathe it in. Really, really embrace what it means to be. Obviously, you're the smartest one here. You're the best caster, mod, the best caster I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. We need that. Right, of course, of course. Oh, okay. Hey, um, can I have the pouch? I, did I just hear the imp saying all that to you? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would have, I would have pulled Alex aside. We would have had this discussion out in the hallway. Um, um I mean, yeah, but what, you do see, you do see the imp is is literally like crouched on his shoulder, one arm around the back of his head, the other like he's just like you know whispering into uh, into Soren's ear, pointing at you, you know, watching you suspiciously, whispering some more. And then, and then offering praise, you know, effusive praise to the to the wizard. All right, I, I just decided to roll a, a self will check to see how how much I might like notice that versus like want to trust um, my friend. And I rolled a one, so I'm like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> it smells interesting. <laughs> He's just as dumb as I told you. I knew I was right. <laughs> Okay. Because of so course, I, uh, my, my friend the wizard wouldn't do anything wrong, so I can trust him. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Edgar. I, I do appreciate it. Um, I think this is something that I can use. I need to examine it, and but for now, I'll hold on to it. Um, there might be come a time where there's dire circumstances that it might come in handy. Wise. So, have you always been this wise? You just, I, I'm just, I'm growing smarter just sitting here on your shoulder. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> at the, at the, um, so so Drake, you're leading your your party of companions, you know, through the through the soot and the smoke. Um, you know, the corridor itself is probably about six feet wide, and and then you know, and you're tapping, you know, just just feeling as you go because you can only see ever like three or four feet in front of you, and then it ends at a at a at a stone wall with all these striations like um, seared across it, like like ground into it. Uh, that's that's the face at the end of at the end of the hallway. So oh, it's question, it's Harley. Have we? Um, yeah. I, I don't want to mix in prior knowledge versus have they just have they figured out what the alembic key does? Ah, uh, that's I, I'll I'll let them speak to that. They've 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 
Yeah, yeah, because they, they found another um, door with striations before, and they realized okay. that like spinning the Olympic key caused the whole thing to turn. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Because when we were coming in, we were like using it to like cut people off or cut things off to oh, nice. buy us some time. Um, mm. I don't think we fully know what it does, but we know it does something. Yeah. Um, and, and just for my edification. So, so Tim, the way we've been doing it is just because you guys are physically separated. You all have a copy of the key, but um, before anybody turns it, I need to know which PC actually is in possession of it. Mm. When we when we last had it, it and was uh, the wizard. But, the yeah. wizard has it, yeah. Yeah, I think the wizard still has it. Okay, sweet. So based on what you guys have, is the is fire matching wolf? Is that how we, we have it right now? Um, um. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, I Drake looks back and should we turn the key, or do you want to head back and f explore that other corridor? What is turning the key going to do for us? Do we, do you think right now? I think it'll open a passageway. Oh, really? I just don't know what. Now the the question is, which way do we turn it? And <laughs> you know, uh, well, we're not back by yeah. the entrance of where we came in when we turned this last time, right? We're, we're not, but but it, you yeah. are facing a, a dead end with the same striations that you encountered. Um, oh, gotta gotta miss that. Okay, okay, okay. And our. Um, our notes do say passage question mark beyond the sphere. Uh, yeah. I am totally willing to spin that key. Yeah, I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wizard. Um, it's up to you. So with, uh, with what we know to be um, chaos facing down, just tell me which, uh, which of the pole directions are you going to spin chaos? Oh, you're mute, oh. Alex. All right, there we go. So uh, what I'm going to do, so um, uh, Solaire seems really excited about spinning the key this time. So actually, I'm going to I'm going to pass it to her okay. and let her pick this time. Okay. Um, okay. Really quickly, let's establish where everyone's standing in the corridor. So, um, all right. So I have my friend Drake. You were you did you did reach the dead end. Um, you were standing. You know up against the strike not up against the striations but you know you could you could touch it you could see it where do you want to stand now in relation now that your friends are passing around this relic where do you want i mean to i'll just i i feel like if i just take at least a like you know a subway uh yellow line safety uh step back so i'm not right right at the edge okay um but i don't okay. feel like i need to like duck take cover or go too far back okay and solaire where do you want to be in relation to that the end of the corridor um yeah it, how what's our light situation in here like how oh, bright yeah. or dark is it um you know it's it's actually it's, it's not well lit but it's it's lit well enough simply because the walls and the ceiling and the floor are, they're constantly spurting flames and so there's okay. there's 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 decent candlelight at all times but it's, it's coming from a hundred different sources okay um yeah so uh I'm gonna stand back from it enough that uh, I don't know, like a like a human size amount, six feet. Okay, excellent. Um, my friend uh, Soren, where do you want to be in regards to? So 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 far, I, ha I have Drake and then Solaire. Mm -hmm. Soren, where? Uh -huh. in, 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 yeah, in the in the marching order, where would you be? Sure, sure. Um, let's see. I will be. Um, standing behind um, whoever is third. So I'll be third. <laughs> I, I think you and I are sort of like jockeying to see who can be furthest away because mm -hmm. last time we turned one of these things, there was like this giant tidal wave of green that stripped my skin off. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm not particularly interested in being too close to that door. So I can be third, but I'm like right up in your stuff as you're in the last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. I I sense the situation. I just hold on to you. <laughs> I kind of you. <laughs> you are so smart. I I I feel like I'm just learning things just being around you, Wizzy. This is this is this is truly incredible. This this is why you're going to be an art. You're. I'll say I knew you win. All right. Um, 
Uh, Solaire, uh, describe to me what you're doing with your, your disc. Okay, yeah. So after taking it and examining it, I'm like, we're in the fire thing. I'm going to shift it so that um, so that water lines up with goat. So uh, lines up with goat. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, that's awesome. Okay. Um, yes. And so sure enough, you, uh, you, you rotate, you rotate the, uh, the, the, the disc and all around you, you can feel the entire center of the mountain start to spin and, and grind and grumble. And, and this, um, and where you're standing actually starts to spin and, and you can feel almost the cosmos itself. And so, so warrior, you feel you know, that, that, that gift that you had earlier where you were, you were, you were, you were strong and youthful and mighty once more, you know, you feel that, that, that leaving you now. And, and, and meanwhile, the um, uh, wizard and the elf, you know, you're just, you start, you know, you're, you're sharp and, and you can, you're able to apprehend the mysteries and, and spells that you might've, you know, bumbled the words with before now come readily at your tongue. And, 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 and every, every, every syllable, every, every thought has a renewed clarity and, um, and thief, you can, you can feel that you're, you're it's almost like your, your fingers are fat and slow Oof. this is what you see so so the the whole thing grinds and and then the it comes to a stop and the corridor is open before you mm -hmm. uh, the, the 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 burning flames are louder than ever now you can see that the, you're growing closer to whatever it was that um uh the, the source of the flames but but your your way has been made clear thanks to the elf All right. Great job, well done. Yeah. Um, I'll continue on being ever aware of am I cooking myself in this armor or not? Or uh... hmm. yeah. Okay. So um, with Drake in the lead, followed by Solaire and Ropey and Soren, kind of jockeying position in the last. With with every you know, and and Ropey, you know, the 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 imp is kind of. Every chance he gets, he kind of like snips at your ear. He's, you know, like blowing at you from behind. It's just like, ah, imp, get off me. And when he's not doing that, he's complimenting the wizard on how intelligent the wizard is and how he's, um, you know, that he can't wait to rule, you know, the, the pits of hell along with the wizard. The, um, the, the, the corridor branches, no, it doesn't branch, but it, it kind of jogs off to your right and then opens into a, an octagonal chamber. Or sorry, yeah. Um, okay. You see that the chamber is blackened by soot and is heavy with the stench of scorched metal and burnt flesh. Deep channels that have been carved into the floor trace a large pentagram into the stone floor. Hanging in the center of the darkened chamber is a black void entirely absent of light or reflection. Now um, you can make in, in the in the chamber you can so there's these these deep 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 grooves like like carved almost by like a like a knife of a god in into these floors. You can see that there's there's an exit from this chamber, you know, both to your left and to your right. But reaching either of them would would cause you to have to <clears throat> step over multiples of these grooves or potentially come close to that floating black orb in the very center of the chamber. Mm. Hmm. Drake, what are you thinking? You're in the front. Um, I will look back to my friends, and I, but I do think that the orb is a little, I mean, I'm a little curious, a little interesting. Um, I will cautiously take a few steps towards that okay. just to see if there's any change in its demeanor or do i feel anything different no you know, no shift. nothing yet you know you and, and you you come up to just just barely you haven't stepped over it yet but your your toes are right on the edge of you know crossing over that 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 pentagram that's been scored into the floor um and the orb is just it's it's an absolute absence you can you can only see it because it's it's, it's darker than the black of the rest of this chamber you know the rest of the chamber has been burnt 
sooty black you know so much so you could you could drag your finger or your thumbnail along the floor and it would come up with with ash hmm. and soot that orb is even darker than that it's, it's a complete absence of, of any sort of reality or any reference point it's almost like you're looking at it and there's just a, a hole in your perception and I'll, no, I'm, I'm sure they all see it, but I'll, you know, I point out and I'll kind of take a knee and, and look at the, I don't want, I'm trying not to break the, the plane of this mm-hmm. okay. pentagram, okay. but just kind of. Sure, yeah. You know, sure. To make it better, to better either look. of the, uh, the exits, you're going to need to cross a, a few of those, of those yeah. cut marks, but just let me know when you decide to do it. So, so my, my dock worker sense is kicking in and I kind of want to like come up and see if like, because I don't really look for traps, but as I get closer, I want to see if like it feels like maybe there might be a trap here or something there might be wrong that we don't want to cross over this thing and see if I can't okay. determine that. Give me, give me an accidental uh, find traps check. Ruby. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Drake, you're about to say something there real quick at the oh, end. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You were going to say something? Or, oh, no, you want Drake, to roll first? You, well, yeah. yeah oh, well, hold on. Yeah. No, I was, I was going to look back to Solaire um, or, or Ropey and they say, say like, any ideas about danger crossing this? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So 24 on a okay. fine trap. All right. Um, it, 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 um, you're, you're very confident that, um, there's, 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 there's no, there's no physical trap. There's not, there's not a pressure plate or something to step on here. Um, but every, you know, but once upon a time, uh, dock worker, you were there, you were there down at the, at the, at the docks when, um, you know, a, a, a whaling vessel came back with some incredibly flammable whale oil and it all caught fire, you know, because somebody mm. knocked over a lantern. And, and that same sort of conflagration, you can just, just feel it just like hovering, you know, just behind your head. Not, not, not physically behind your head, but mm-hmm. this whole room is just like waiting for something to trigger something to catch, cause it to catch fire. Do I smell any oil in that groove or anything? No, like that? no, okay. no, no. And the groove literally is just it's it's just um, scorched black soot. You know, the, but the groove itself is probably like eight inches deep, um, and and it's it's just black and burned. Um, I can't see any like jets or no, like, no. Holes that's the thing. Anything. It actually it actually comes down to uh, to to like almost like a knife's edge. Um, mm-hmm. let me know if you want to dig in it at any point but um you know it just it, it, you can kind of see the sides of the stone and sure enough there's nothing that would indicate that there are yeah like gas jets or anything else um Solaire, what are you thinking so yeah if i examine the walls and ceiling mm-hmm. are there any marks just on those black. this 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 whole well actually no no Solaire, because because you're smart and 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 the guy who wrote this is dumb. You can actually see lines on on the ceiling, scorch marks rather on the ceiling that align perfectly with these grooves that have been cut into the floor. Mm. So the, the pentagram is mirrored above um, where incredibly, you know, hot temperatures, you know, perhaps the stone has actually even turned glassy in places, mm. but you can see where it would billow out with the smoke. Because I'm wondering if like I could cast some spider climbs and we could navigate around it so we wouldn't have to walk over it. Yeah. Um, at all. It, it's, it's certainly a possibility. Um, you're more than welcome to do that, but there are, there are scorch marks on the ceiling. Right. And I, you're not certain that traveling on the ceiling would free you from the repercussions of if this place decides to catch fire. Right. Um, Soren, you know, as soon as you guys stepped into the chamber, you can feel the uh, your 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 buddy, the imp, he just kind of goes tense, and he's watching that that black orb, and his eyes just won't leave it, and he's absolutely terrified, and he's he's not making like deriding comments about the elf anymore, and he doesn't, he's not blowing wind at Ropey, and and you know, he's terrified, absolutely terrified, frozen on your shoulder. Have I heard of anything like this before? Um. You know what? You know you you've studied quite a bit. Give me a one d twenty beneath either luck or your intelligence. Your call. Did you All did right. you drink too I'm much in college it. or? <laughs> okay. okay, so I actually I actually studied really hard because I needed to get off the streets. Uh, so I rolled an eight under my intelligence of sixteen. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. Right. You're, 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 you've, you've heard stories of this, this thing that's akin to a sphere of annihilation 
that um, that can be commanded by powerful wizards or or or, or devils or demons or in, anyone with a with a you know superior personality. But this 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 sphere of absolute void and absence that when 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 directed by something of mental power can just mm-hmm. consume reality when it encounters it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, and I relay this information to everybody else and say, sorry, Solaire. Um, Personality is needed to control this, so uh, I think you're out of luck. What are you trying to say about me? <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about, like, I don't see any uh, keyholes. I'm just keeping an eye out for keyholes. Anywhere yeah. random? Um, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you, yeah, that's totally fair. Yeah, I'll let you know if you encounter anything that seems like it, it could be a socket or a keyhole for those three stone keys. All right. Be nice if it was to, like, you know, I could set the safety. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> So left or right? I don't know. Yeah, right. You guys want to um, want me to try summoning an animal that we could have try to that tries to walk across the chamber? Um, what if I just reach into my pocket and pull out like a a copper piece or something? Sure. Yeah. yeah and uh, give it a flip across the uh, boundary. Across, yeah, I, I could fire across an arrow at either at that thing too, or just across. There you go. Well, here, let's do this. We'll start with the copper piece. You uh, you flip it over the uh, over the the ridge that's been or the the you know the line that's been cut in the floor. It goes to this side. Obviously, you know we're all worried about nothing because it just lands on the other side. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay. um, Drake, specifically, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I was just waiting to see um, if he's pulling out a copper. I don't want to like jump ahead, but I'm just telling like I, I could. If I wanted, I could fire a thing. I could fire an arrow at that at that void and see if it consumes it, like you were saying. Mm. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Or I, is I going to see it as an attack? And but hopefully, we're outside the range of fiery death. It, yeah. Does it seem like it's contained by um, uh, magic and sorcerment? Mm. If that plane was broken, it might um, uh, be loosed um well you know there's there's no flames currently there's just that 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 black orb in the very center of the chamber at the very center mm-hmm. of the the pentagram it's been inscribed on the floor okay. um, so right. there's 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 all these hints and cues and clues of fire like at some point you know this entire chamber was very hot and so hot that it you know melted portions of the ceiling into glass so drake is thinking and actually just to say he said his group uh i think so I think that that thing might be the gate. I think it's a hole in a dimension. Mm. And I oh. think that this, these striations, this, this carving would be filled with fire, almost like walls of flame. And that's why the pattern above matches the, the carving on the floor. Um, that part now, makes sense, but what's the other part though with the- I feel that this thing is like, the, this is the, one of the gates. This is the gate. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's yeah, fair bet that it's one of them. Uh but what do we do? What yeah. <laughs> hmm. I mean we can just mess with it and see we, uh but if it gets that hot, even if we're not in one of these striations, I'm I'm a little afraid yeah. of what could happen. Yeah. Um I pull out some marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about if I fire an arrow not at the the orb, but at one of the passageways beyond, and just see if like the arrows flight over the. Well, so, all right, so, so Tim, yeah. I'm not. You tell me when you do something. Okay. Right? Yeah. I yeah. Well, if if you, you suggest that, I'm the, I'm down with that idea. Yeah. You want to back up into the hallway? Shuffle back. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure Imps breathe, but he starts to breathe again. It's like, you get the, I'm not sure Imps pee, but your shoulder's a little wet. <laughs> I, think, I, I look, I look at, uh, at Soren and ask him, has this thing said anything worthwhile about this room? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm getting um, hints of extreme nervousness, so be careful. <laughs> All right, so I, I too will step back into the hall. Um, okay, but 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 Drake, if you're going to take some sort of action towards, yes, yeah, you're you're. So I'm going to take a sh- uh, if I can fire my bow, mm-hmm. 
not hit the the orb, but just I was want yeah. to. I really just want to fire it over the the striations, right? And like maybe down yeah. one into one of the other. If I can hit one of the other corridors, that's we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this at Gary Con. That's this is gonna be really awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds that's, great. That's, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm just aiming at the like the beginning of the wall and one of the you know mm -hmm. opposite corridors. So um, so Drake. Uh, Roll 1d20 below your luck. I made it by four. <laughs> All, right. All right. You uh, you draw back your bow. You can hear the uh, you know the the bending of the of the bow itself, the stretching of the of the bowstring. You release it, the arrow flies through, it shoots through the dark, not through the not through the orb, like it, you know, it's it's along the side. So the two the two exits of from this place are are both not directly through the orb but it's so it, it shoots you know along the side and, and into this um this one exit off to off to your right um and you hear a scream come from inside and then you see what can only be the arch devil <laughs> 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 Come, like instantly becomes visible and then comes stumbling out looks at you and snarls and he and he, he draws this 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 wave bladed flamberge from over its shoulder howls at you and it was the imp wasn't it it was the imp that told you i was here you know you will die stumpy a thousand deaths forever you know and and, and um yeah, and so there's that. <laughs> yeah, um, let's just well here. Um, it's not necessarily combat yet, but the the this devil does have an who is hidden, invisible in the darkness, has an arrow sticking out of its chest. Drake, give me give me give me a bow damage here, real quick. Uh, deed as well, or just the bow? Uh, no, the the deed as well. All right, uh, just four four damage. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Um, just so that everyone has a chance to speak and contribute, why don't you guys give me uh, an initiative count for me? Okay. Jen said to spin the key again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Soler, where are you at? Eight. Eight. Um, my friend Ropey. 21. Yeah. Um, Soren and Stumpy, where are you guys at? 15 15 and drake seven sweet all right so um ropey so so drake fires the arrow it strikes something in the darkness you see just for a minute this this furious nine foot tall devil like satyr like you know devil comes stumbling out of the darkness what do you want to do it's on the far side of the chamber and it also has not crossed any of the grooves that have been cut into the floor okay um so <clears throat> excuse me how, how can i you probably can't do a backstab with a with a bow can you i've got a crossbow that i yeah i, w I would say if it if it hadn't known you were here and like, yeah. you know you could amble yeah we're all in a, in a hallway yeah. so he sees us right yeah. so yeah. um I, i'm trying to think this is a retcon i didn't say what i had out um i'm gonna think that even the last time I had my short sword out that I might've had my bow out because I am worried about being too close to anything after the stuff with the. <laughs> the juice. That's fine. No, so, no. Yeah. You guys went into the corridor. That's, that's I, I'm Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to like, yeah, set myself and fire a, a bolt at it. All right. Yeah. Do you, uh, you, uh, so as soon as you see it stumble out, ah, twang, yeah. give, me, give me a shot with the, uh, the, the crossbow. Uh, that would be a, um, math 17, 17. It, it, it flies into the darkness. You see that the, uh, the, the devil thing, it holds up a, a single hand and like this, this, this red glare appears before it. And the, and then, and the bolt goes winging off away, you know, caroming against the ceiling and comes to land, you know, on the floor somewhere. Oh, all right. Dang. He's tough. Um, that, oh, sorry. Forgive me. That, that so that was uh, my friend Ropey Soren. You're up. The uh, the the, the right. devil on uh, your shoulders, like we got to get out of here, Wizzy. This he's gonna mess us up. Okay. <laughs> All right. I pull out the finger guns and go color spray. <laughs> and I'm gonna 
do a I'm gonna burn off a couple of two points of strength and two points of agility okay. to uh give me a plus four to this roll. All right, so okay, so I rolled a nineteen uh, plus ten all together. So that's a twenty-nine. All right. So a blast of color chaos affects all targets in a cone of 40 feet long. Um, so basically, I hit the guy. Um, <laughs> what, what was your total again? Was it uh, 29? 29, mm. yeah. So uh, those within the cone take 1d6 damage. So that's okay. one point of damage. Or enough unconscious. I don't know if it'll work on this guy for yeah. 3d4 plus 3 rounds. Okay. So I rolled that. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's give him a he's he's gonna get a will check here at the at, at first at the top. Um okay. so so for everyone out in Twitch land. Well see. wait a second. Creatures of three hit dice or less get will no will save. So this guy has three or less hit dice, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guy, My mistake. He's, he's, he's unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. All right. Um okay. So that's okay. All right. So, all right. Let's go to chaos. Okay. Um, he's definitely taking 1d6 damage. Is okay. He's not going to be knocked unconscious. He is, however, blind. Give me 2d4 plus one. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, six. So, seven. Uh, seven is the total. Okay. He is snarling. He's furious. Just you can almost feel the heat raiding off. You know, first some jerk of a, a warrior shoots a bow into the darkness and manages to hit him like by, by sheer luck. And then this 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 wizard caster with with a devil on his shoulder blasts him and blinds him. He howls in fury, and you can see that you know whatever spell he was working on certainly depended upon line of sight because it fizzles in his hand and he just mm -hmm. howls in fury, which brings us to um, my friend Solaire. Yeah, I'm going to shoot some magic missiles at him. Uh, and so we're going to see how this goes. I'm not going to burn any points. Oh, I got to remember to burn luck. Uh, so I have an 18 there. Um, so throw 1d4 missiles. So I'm throwing three missiles. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so deal damage equal to 1d4 plus caster level. So is that, uh, do I add that caster level to every die of to damage? Each missile. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first one is a five. The second one is also a five. And oh, the third one is a five. Great. Um, so I rolled three ones, but you know. Uh, that's okay. Okay, um, the devil is howling. So your your what, what do what do your um what do your magic missiles look like, Elf? Oh, um, they're uh like they're sparkly, um, kind of glittery. Uh, <laughs> he's he's furious, right? Because he's been blinded by the color spray, and then these bolts of these these glitter bombs like strike him and 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 sear into his skin, you know, so that he's actually radiating with glitter from the inside. Um, utterly furious, which which brings us um uh, to my friend uh, Drake. All right, Harley, I'm going to try to shoot him again with my bow, and my deed attempt is to be um I want to try and knock him. Or, or force him over one of the lines because I want to see what happens if you cross. If anything, that's awesome. Okay. All right. I got a six on the deed, a fourteen on the die, so that is going to bring it to a total of my million. So yeah, so just uh, twenty. Not no, twenty. All right. Yeah, okay. Twenty. Yeah. Um. The uh. The 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 arrow. You know. He he ducks it. And it almost forces him to step over the line, but it's not quite, you know, he, his, his, his cloven hooves stop him just before. And on his action, he actually scurries away out of sight further down that corridor that you guys had drawn him up originally. So now he's, he's on the opposite side, vanishing into the darkness away from you guys. You no longer have a line of sight towards him. Dang. Mm. Everything is still and silent. What do you want to do? 
I look back at them as do we want to do you want to just turn this thing again or do we? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if we turn it, are we like we need to do something with this yeah. gate, right? I think so. Um. Yeah, I, I think Drake maybe has like thought that this is this could be the end anyway. This this whole adventure, this like the way beyond anything he's ever done. So you know. <laughs> I'm tentatively looking at them to see if there's any way they're going to stop him, but he, I'm, I think Drake's going to run into the room, right? And just, <laughs> like, just, just, you know, uh, just caution to the wind. Just I'll cross over one of the, you know, the lines. Ooh. But that's on my turn, obviously. But right, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. We still sort of in turn order because I, yeah, I think well, I'm gonna yeah, let's just let's do let's let's keep going with turn order just to give everyone a chance to. You know, to to have yeah. the space. So I mean, I like you, you can all confer, and and if you come to consensus, you can make your own plan. But yeah. otherwise, ropey, it's it's your. Uh, all right, yeah. I'm shooting another crossbow bolt into that, reloading and firing. Um, firing. But I'm going to burn some luck this time. I can choose how much luck I'm going to burn. Yeah. After the fact, right? So right. let me roll right. first and see what I'm what I'm yep. working with. Um. All right, I rolled a five. Um. <laughs> so. I'm also sort of feeling like, I don't know. This is this is the moment to to do it. I feel like a five. Well, hold on. I rolled a five, um, and then a whole plus three, so I've got eight. I'm gonna burn four luck, and dang, um, New total. Another twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> on top of my eight so all right 31 <laughs> okay the uh the, the the crossbow you know chromes or the bolt rather chromes off the wall you hear it thud into something in the darkness and it's like, <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> this impotent fury on the on the on the far side of the chamber and, and again he's still blaming the imp curse you stunt <laughs> Do you need like a damage roll for that? All I, it's a yeah. whole one d six. And you and the imp is like now actually like you know he's standing up on on the wizard's shoulder like you know I don't know biting his biting his thumb at the uh, you know the the, the arch devil <laughs> that can no longer see him. That's for keeping me trapped and not letting me go, my friend. You haven't even seen my friend the wizard. Yeah, so he's he's calling insults you know across the room, <laughs> bragging on you, wizard, holding on to your hair, just shouting out into the darkness. <laughs> So I got a question. Since yeah. he was like in the dark and blind, there's no chance that's going to get sneak attack with that, is that? Uh, no. Probably not. <laughs> grab a D30. I had to ask. Yeah. Grab, grab a D30. And get below my luck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. One over my luck. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, no good. Yeah. All, right. All, right. Yeah. All right. So then I didn't actually roll my damage yet, right? Six. Okay. Nice. Max damage. Okay, um, so that that's 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 Ropey. What are you up to with your time, Soren? There, you know the the imp is on your shoulder. He's he's calling out insults at the arch devil. Suddenly, he's full of himself. He believes in you, wizard. He's like, "This is our chance. Take him down, or we can we'll crush his skull, and I'll turn it into a goblet for you." Sure, sure. All in good time. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, I've actually got a, I've actually got a plan if he comes back this way, but. Um, you don't. You can't think of any way to bring him forth, can you? Watch this! He turns around. I guess the the biggest insult a, a devil can do is to bite his own tail. So he whips his sharp tail over his back. You know, aims his backside at the at the far side, bites on his tail, and sure enough, you hear a roar from the other side. And and uh, the blind devil, you know, comes staggering out. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to do? Um. Okay. Hey, um, Lar, you know, if we can either get this guy to, um, if, uh, if there's some way to get him into the boundary between the um, inner part of this uh, rotation, rotating section, mm. and um, perhaps if you rotate the disc just as he's coming through, you might be able to trap him or even snap him in half. Mm. Okay. I like it. So, just a thought. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, gosh, uh, I'm worried my spells won't be too effective against him. You know what? I'm kind of curious if this works, though. 
I'm going to concentrate and ex try and exert my personality over the black sphere in the middle of the room. Mm. Um, give me a give me a will save. Get super high. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got a fourteen. Okay, um, you see that the orb starts to 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 revolve just a little bit as almost well you, there's no point of reference but you can feel it's 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 awareness of you focus on you wizard um and then mm -hmm. fade and dissipate mm -hmm. not yet okay um soren is there anything else i need to know uh you know what i'm going to scoot towards the um behind uh whoever's in the back <laughs> that's that's uh Solaire at this point but yeah um Solaire, you're up you know the uh the the, the wizard is, is is scooting behind you you know the the imp is 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 mocking you know your your weak spells he's like get out of the way let wizzy take care of this what do you want to do elf so wizzy. to uh to the wizard's point right like <sighs> how would we need to draw him out in order to spin this and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and cause him no, damage right yeah like, you're going to need to get him to come across the chamber and start to chase you back down that corridor and then spin it okay but um, um but the you know but but stumpy you know biting his tail is is is, is working okay so he seems like he wants to He's Come fierce. He, wa he wants to. He wants to hang that. That well, first the warrior, then the wizard, um, and you know, and everybody else he'll deal with after that. But okay, um, I mean, yeah, I'm going to use all of the strength of my terrible personality to continue to insult him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but I'm also uh, yeah. I think I'm going to cast. No, he can't see. So mirror image doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm just gonna try to like taunt him from multiple. Well, that would be kind of cool. Versions of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would have been fun. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have any particularly great spells for this instance. So um, I am also gonna shoot at him with my bow. Uh, so that is a plus two. Nope, these guys are not my friend today. So I rolled okay. a one. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, oh, uh, was no. it literally a one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know, um, your bowstring snaps because you drop, you drop the uh, the arrow to the ground. You know, until you're able to take some time and restring your bow, um, it's going to do no good for you. Um, let's see, that was uh, my friend Slayer Drake. You're up. All right. He looks back at his friends. Do you want to live forever? And he just <laughs> runs, <laughs> just runs right, and run right across. Um, uh, I'm not sure how you know if I can get there and attack you know in this round or just. No, that's fair. So you you're you're sprinting um, towards the arch devil. You'll be able to attack actually attack him at, at this at the start of next round. Um, Drake, uh, give me one d twenty below your luck. He's going to try to get away from you, but he is blinded and uh, and just hears the roar of this warrior coming at him. I got a four. Oh, oh that means like seven, like seven or eight. Yeah. So, eight. so in in relation to the, the center of the chamber, where would you like him to be? I mean, meaning like, okay, you're charging towards him. You're shouting. Well, you're so my goal is I want to either with my sword batter him or pick him up and throw him into the black into the orb. I want to see what what that does. So, if he the closer to the orb, the better. Like okay, this. so he, you know, so he, he takes this 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 massive two handed, you know, flame bladed sword, and he's he's whirling it around, and, and you're you're ducking and dodging, and you know, he actually like just the weight of the blade starts to spin him out further towards the center of the chamber, At the, and on next round you'll be able to, you know, to maneuver him if you're successful, um, which 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 brings us to well, actually, yeah, but he's he's. There is a warrior out there, and he is swinging his blade, and he's furious, and he's shouting for uh, Stumpicarius. Um, but meanwhile, uh, warrior, he, there's the there's the chance that this blinded devil might succeed in attacking you. Um, he's going to be down to die. He's attacking blind. Um, yes, and then misses. 
oh, but one of the, one of the, one of the uh, you know, you, you stumble, he comes back quicker than, than you would thought even possible. Um, and the, and the blade catches you for seven, nine, um, 14, 21 points of damage. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> A mighty hit, but not mighty enough, fiend. <laughs> All right. It brings us back to the top. Ropey, you're on. You see your friend, the warrior, charges across there. gets caught by the blade. What do you want to do, Rope? Oh, so the flames didn't go off. Not yet. Um, yet. Yeah, he's got he's to protect his, uh, his uh, party member there. So crossbow goes down, and he's also going to dive in and swing low for the knees with uh, his short sword. Actually, right. now he's blind, yeah. right? So yes. I want to try to get in a sneak attack. Um, so I, what do I have to move silently to get in yeah. there? Or is he too far away for me to make to close? No, that no, guy? you're, you're, you're sprinting across there. But yeah, give me a give me a move silent check. OK. Um, not great. 13. Um, yeah, you, you'll be able to get an attack in, but he, he hears you coming padding across the floor. Okay. You know, the, the, the whisper of your blade as it cuts through the air. So it, yeah, it won't be a crit even if you hit, but um, give me an attack roll. Got it. Um, doo, 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 doo. I'm going to burn a lock on that one too. Okay. Um, so that wasn't great. So a total of 18. 18, it, it's just like it, your blade strikes his skin yeah. and it's almost as if his skin was made out of iron. Your blade shivers back in your hand. You can feel the vibrations, um, which brings us to my friend Soren. Okay. Uh, would you say he's within 20 feet of me? Uh, no. Okay. Would you say he's he, within um, 30 feet of me? Yeah, well, it's, it's probably like 40 feet across to the to the opposite, not to the opposite side of the chamber. He's being worked closer to the center. He'll be 30 feet when he's at, if if um, if Drake manages to get him to that orb. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. but he, he's, he's 40, so, 45 feet across. He's swinging this massive blade. He's convinced that if he can hit Drake just one more time, he's going to make his way down mm -hmm. to the rest of you. Yeah, so uh, here's the question is, uh, can I uh, move uh, within 20 feet of him and cast the spell? Absolutely. But you, okay. That'll bring you all over right. to, <laughs> through the lines the of the pentagram. <laughs> yeah. True. And uh, the other question is, is, how close is he to the uh, black void? Um, he's about 15 feet off from it now, but he'll be a lot closer by the time Drake's done. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, I move forward, and it looks like the, all the action is taking place in this corridor. So maybe that um, crit, uh, like trying to lure him out this way isn't going to quite work. So instead, I'm going to attempt to summon an animal uh, uh, right around his feet. Okay. All right. And come on, good roll. All right. So I got an 18 plus. Uh, Plus six, so it's a 24. Nice. Um, so one mundane animal. Um, okay. So I think um, what I'm going to do is, it looks like I can do eight animals of up to one hit dice or less. Okay. So um, I'm going to guess something that's really uh, sticky uh, or no, slippery to step on um, to summon at his feet. So yeah. how about, um, I don't know, like cuttlefish or something like that. Yeah, a whole pack <laughs> right. of cuttlefish. Okay. On them there. The, 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 instantly the floor is covered, covered in eight cuttlefish all around the arch devil. <laughs> That's cuttlefish, right? With these? Yeah, they cuddle, they cuddle, cuddle up. <laughs> yes, okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. Yeah, so my intent is that he step on one and skate towards the void. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm nice. only so lucky. Um, Slipshod. Okay, so the, the 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 cuttlefish are landing on the floor. They're flopping around. You know this this the, you know like the the ooze on their on their on their scales is getting slimed everywhere. Roll a roll one d twenty below your luck, wizard. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, I got a three. I got ah. seven below my luck. All right, you and the uh, the imp high five. He shouts, "Take that!" And sure enough, the uh, the the devil steps, slips, starts to spin back towards the uh, the void in the center. He's not there yet, but 
Um, okay, that was my friend Soren Soler. You're on. Okay, uh, I um, am gonna magic missile him again since that worked Sweet. last time. Uh, so uh, seventeen. Um, so I just get one missile. Uh, so, but that missile is going to do seven points of damage. He's screaming in agony. He's stepping on slimy fish. He's been shot by a warrior in the dark. Um, Drake, you're on. All right, Drake's going in, charging in, getting low, like he's hitting the tackling dummy, and then going to push, you know, try and shove him into the. Uh, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need an attack that hits, but it's also gonna be Ooh, a Harley. Of, come I rolled on. a nineteen on the die, so that's a crit, right? And <laughs> I got a six on my deed. I am so nice. stoked! All right, you slam up against him. Let's give me the uh, the crit first. All right, I first, and I am D one D twenty on crit table four. Yep. Okay. And I get a plus one to luck. By several like garbage, uh, I get a, a. Well, actually, it's not too bad three so it oh my sweeps my four to the ground that, that's it so that's Plus right. 1d12 damage okay and make another so, attack if, that, if it matters oh all right so you sweep him off his feet you give me what d12 points of damage first uh, d12 points of damage plus so that's 18 plus my two strength uh so 20 points of damage oh my god nice all right, and he's prone. You pick him up over and you hurl him forward. So this is, you're, it's going to actually be that second attack is the attack roll of you hurling, violently mm -hmm. hurling this arch devil towards the sphere of annihilation. Now question, Harley, this is a second attack roll. Do I reroll my deed or I just leave my deed at where uh, it was? You're going to keep the deed. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. So that's going to end up being uh, 15 with the deed. He flails through the air and then utterly ceases to exist. Silence. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 as, as if the, the, the devil had never existed in the first place, like all traces of his, his body, you know, the, the, the stench, the, even the cuttlefish that were on his boots are gone. And the imp gives up a roar. You did it, wizard! I knew you were powerful! <laughs> <laughs> you hired none but the best henchmen. Man, you're good, was he? <laughs> right. Utter silence. What do you want to do, friends? Get out of this, the uh, um, pentagram out of the, space. Out of the pentagram. Yeah, okay. but I'm gonna I'm gonna step towards. Now that we're, I'm, I'm guessing we're sort of on the far side of the room at this point. Well, yeah. So, so the hallway just, just past Drake was where was where there's the there's an exit where the where the arch devil was was hiding in. Um, Opposite of that, on um, like and, and kind of like on a, on a triangle from where you guys entered is a is a is a different exit. Okay, can I so, see down either of the hallways? Um, well, if you if you guys look down the the uh, the, the the short hallway where the uh, where the where devil, the devil is. is, yeah, here we'll deal with that one real quickly. Um, you can see a simple hexagonal pedestal standing in the center of a small chamber. Seven skulls rest on niches cut into the base of the pedestal. Each skull is plated in precious metals and set with jewels. So that's down the one way. Um, you know, just you're moving quickly, but you know, you peer down the other, the other exit from the, from the chamber and you can see that, um, you know, it goes for about 20 feet and hangs a sharp left. And that there's a roar of flames coming from that direction. Um, I've been holding my hand up for a high five to Drake, but he hasn't given it to me yet. So I put it back down. Um, and then I, I start to look towards like, you know, there's things down there that look sort of useful, uh, down the short hallway. I'm interested in, uh, investigating that. Yeah, let's, let's hustle and do it. Okay. Drake, Wizzy, are you guys cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So again, sure. it's, so we, here. Yeah, you go, you go. It's 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 a short corridor to that to that chamber with the skulls, maybe maybe fifteen feet in. But again, it's a hexagonal pedestal in the center of the chamber, and then on the on around the edges of the ped, uh, the 
the faces of the pedestal, there's niches cut in, like carved into the base of the pedestal, and resting in each of those niches is a skull, a, like a decorated skull with 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 rubies for eyes and you know and plated gold, you know, over their skull caps. Um, huh. You know, the the teeth are all gems. How many did you say there were? Uh, there are eight. Did you said there were seven. I'm sorry, I said seven, seven, seven. Sorry. Oh. Or did you say the six? <laughs> no. One of them's in my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a bad no, idea. Ropey, do you want to take one? Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, Ropey, you, uh, you, you, you free one from it, and 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 it doesn't it doesn't cause any on any change. Oh, all right. And it wasn't bolted out or anything. No. Um, I, I didn't even pick it up. Ad, it was just in my hand. Here. I don't know what happened. Oh, sorry. What was that, Alex? Oh, I, I was saying I was worried that was a lich niche. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you um, you you lift one free of um, of of the niche here in, the, in this this waist high pedestal. Nothing seems to happen. Yeah. Anything else with that pedestal of note? I mean, does it seem you like know, it's... it's 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 uh you know it's a it's a carved black marble pedestal. You know the 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 top is is flat, um, maybe maybe uh, sixteen inches across. So this is where like the, the devil gave lectures previous to being killed or huh. <laughs> lecturing to the bejeweled skulls. Yeah, yeah but you, yeah. Have, you have you have one of the seven skulls in your hands now. Yeah, that doesn't look like it fits anywhere else besides where the niches uh, were. Well, I mean it it's it's um you know the the, the skull itself has a kind of kind of like a, a plate, you know, where the neck would be. So it was it was sitting it was resting in that in that niche, and so you're able to pull it out. It's kind of like a, like a massive paperweight or something, but you can yeah. certainly bring it home and, and put it on your desk at the thieves go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like while he's picking up the skull and so on, I want to see if there's any keyholes, right? Because we still have those keys yeah. that you have, and also. Um, use my innate elfin abilities to make sure there aren't any um, secret doors anywhere in here. Sure, sure, oh. sure. You're um, while while you're doing that, elf um, Drake and Soren. Do I need to know anything? I was just more interested in like, was there anything left behind? You know, in that little in the little niche where the skull was slash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just kind of looking around. No, it, yeah. it it really does seem like you know there's like there's these skulls that are clearly meant to be you know lifted out and removed. Um, but each of the each of the niches has um, one of the skulls in it. Uh, well, with the exception with the one that Ropey stole. Mm -hmm. And then it's like it's like a dead end. It's, it's essentially just, it's just a core yes. that is a yeah. very only. Yeah, yeah. It comes yeah. to the end of, end of the chamber here. Yeah. And then those striations like we can spin it. No, it, it, the 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 pedestal doesn't seem as if it would move. Is, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, no, um, it, no. It it seems very clearly set um, and stationary in the ground. No, yeah. I'll just I'll just you know did that quick little look over, and then I'll just I'll um, guard the rest of them with as they explore. Mm -hmm. Um. Elf, you're so you know you're you're inspecting the, the the chamber. You don't notice any secret doors, but you do see that um, you know there was there was dust on the uh, on the, that had accumulated on the floor prior to the rest of your companions coming in here. And you can see that the devil had come in, stopped right before um, the pedestal of skulls, and then had been shot <laughs> by a random mm. arrow in the darkness, and then had come out. So the, the devil had come in here. He was approaching the pedestal for some reason, and then okay. um, withdrawn. So um, you said there are seven uh, niches. Yes. Okay. And not just six skulls. Um, so, because, yeah, Ropey has one. Yeah. So it's a hexa uh, hexagonal mm -hmm. pedestal. Mm -hmm. So, in what way is it not symmetrical? Mm. Um, the one facing the door. I mean, facing the entrance. Okay. Okay. So there's an extra niche there. No, no, it's just a, a blank face. Okay. So then there's five faces, but seven niches. Yes. And that is where we will end our mystery tonight. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah.
<laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing. Yeah. Thank you, Harley. Yeah. Thank you. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. All right. So, everyone, thank you uh, for joining us. Um, thank you, Matt, Rachel, Alex, and Tim. Um, thank you to Elena for making Elena all this and possible. Harley, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate you guys playing tonight. I know you guys are up late. And so, so thank you guys so much for that. Well worth it. Do we get to level up for next time? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, here, here's, here's what we're going to do. Um, everybody grab a, grab a D20. Grab your luckiest D20. Figure out what your luck score is. Um, Low right Matt, now. Matt, roll, uh, roll 1D20 beneath your luck. Um, nope, one over. Nope. All right, yeah. Ropey dies in a blazing inferno. <laughs> Solaire, how does how does your uh, elf make it out this adventure? Uh, yeah, I rolled um four over my luck. Oh so. no, she is she is crushed by a, a towering ifrit, which is just two rooms away. Um, <laughs> and, and Drake, give me give me a luck check. Drake, Drake, yeah, Drake. That very right, nice. Okay, um, Drake goes mono e mono with with an elemental lord of stone. Manages to beat it in a wrestling match and and makes off with the uh, the the seven um, fabled gemstones that are sacred to the dwarven people. And last but certainly not least, Soren and Stumpy, give me a d twenty below your luck. <laughs> well, I rolled a twenty. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sword how, how do how do you how do you meet your demise here in, in, in dcc 100 oh um i i um snort that um uh skull cocaine or whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's yeah, hidden, hidden in the, actually so hidden in this dungeon there's there's the the throne of the philosopher kings and and you and you and 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 stumpy actually do manage to find it um, it's at the end of of one of one of the one of the elemental spheres. Anyways, and and you seat yourself upon the throne, ready to be uh, to, to receive all the all the wisdom of the theophages, and it, and it just, you know, your 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 mind is made blank, and you're found there hundreds and thousands of years later, just just staring off into the abyss. You know, all the all the mysteries of the universe are made known to you, and it shatters um, your mind. And, and you and 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 Stumpy are just you contemplate eternity um, together there in the darkness. <laughs> and yeah, oh, all right, that's satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much for playing. Yeah, thank you everybody thank for you. watching. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Thanks for uh, yeah. Back to Kickstarter. Game. There you go. Yeah, you go. right. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Close to the next stretch goal. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>